fine dining experience here at La Table. One of the coolest features is the martini card. This is Umberto. So if I come in, I'm a customer, I want a martini, this comes to my table. Absolutely. One of the uh, items that has become signature for the restaurant has been our table side service. Okay. We wanted to incorporate that into the beverage program. And it's a great way to start the evening, let the guests uh, relax, pick their uh, spirit, and also have the experience uh, of a different version of a martini. Well, I love martinis, Roberto. What are you going to make for me? Today we will do a Gibson martini. Okay. A classic gin base with vermouth, and we'll also use our onions, which we pickle in-house. Let's do it. I'm going I'm to watch the master <laughs> at work. Uh, first, so we're going to get a little ice. Yeah, uh, so we're going, this is a gin martini, yes? Yes. Okay. Very classic. In today's case, we'll use number three. Okay. From uh, London, one of my favorite gins. Uh, classic in the juniper style, right. but a touch modern, some citrus okay. to it. And we'll also feature a uh, vermouth made in Chambéry. In France, one of the two vermouth in the world that has a designation that's protected. Okay. So, you often you find that vermouth has been relegated to the bottom shelf. In this case, by using a uh, top shelf vermouth, something that will complement and enhance the flavors of the gin. Yes. Definitely makes a difference. We'll do a little bit of vermouth as well. Okay. We'll do a two to one part. There we go. And when it comes to shaking and stir, it's always a guest preference. I was going to ask that question. By steering, you dilute less the drink. It can be a little also bolder. Oh, okay. But you have more a stronger flavor, which some guests prefer. Others, we've accustomed ourselves to have it very cold, especially if it's vodka based. So then shaking it. Okay. Almost, uh, that explains that. All right. And now we strain. Yeah. Now we're going to strain this, and we'll garnish with a little onion. Yes. That is how a master does it right there. Pretty impressive stuff. And now comes our onion, right? Uh, the onions we uh, pickle in house using champagne vinegar and herbs from Provence. Wow. That might be the coolest martini I've ever seen uh, prepared. What do we have there? What kind of martini is that on the corner? On this side we that have earlier. a signature cocktail of the restaurant called La Rue de la Table. A uh, martini using gin as well, sapphire with lemon juice. We're using uh, Saint Germain liqueur, a French uh, elderflower liqueur. I'm going to come back and try that one. Can we just <laughs> toast real quick? Absolutely. All right, Please. Umberto, here you go. Cheers. Martini car at La Table. Guys, <laughs> enjoy. Ruben Dominguez, Fox 26 News.